Brian the Powerlifter here, and I have a question from my man John. John asked about the West Side Method. And John, this is a good question and probably a very common question. He says that he heard about it. I don't know how he heard about it, but like in a magazine or he saw it on YouTube or something like this. Um, so I'll try to help you out, John, in as short a time as possible because I don't like to make really long videos. But basically, a little history on it first was Louis Simmons. It was made by a man named Louis Simmons. I went to a gym out in, I think, in California called West Side Barbell. Very popular gym, very popular coach, very good coach. Um, from understand watching Louis' videos, is he um, essentially stumbled on the West Side Method by because uh, he actually got injured. He was doing, I think, squats. I don't know what the number was, but he was doing squats, and he breaks his back. So he actually re rehabilitates himself, makes his squat strong again, practices his squats again, and breaks his back again. So the second time around, he's in the hospital, and he's looking at ways to make himself stronger without putting himself in so much risk of injury, injury I guess. So what he does, he finds something old Russian weightlifting methods, and it's called a conjugate system. So if you hear the conjugate system or in West Side, they're kind of similar methods, so they're kind of the same thing. Um, and essentially, how it works is to really sum it up real quick: is um, basically you change the strength curve to make yourself stronger in something else. So say, John, you, I'm gonna give you an absurd number: have a 700 pound squat, back squat. And you want to bring that 700 pounds to 800 pounds. Or rather than doing more linear stuff and just keep doing the back squat over and over and over again until you get stronger in the back squat. And we're handling 700 plus pounds all the time. You actually do different movements that are related to the movement you're trying to make stronger. In this case, the back squat. So things that I think are used in West Side are going to be good mornings, um, bands, change, chains, box squats, uh, front squats. Cambridge bar squats. There's all types of variations of the squat movement. This also goes for all the, the deadlift and the bench press. It works the same way. It's different movements. Um, so you find a movement that you're weaker in. So say good mornings, right? So say you have your 700 pound back squat, but you only have a 400 pound good morning. So you work your good mornings with 400 pounds or whatever working weight is there <clears throat> for your sets. Usually I think it's like threes, twos, and ones. That's really all they deal with. <clears throat> really heavy weights. So low, uh, heavy weights and low, uh, low reps, but a lot of sets is usually how it works out. Um, <clears throat> and you make yourself stronger by making, you make your back squat stronger by making your good morning stronger, a related movement, making your overall raw strength in your body stronger. And then that converts over to the back squat. So you make your back squat stronger by actually doing the back squat. If that makes any sense. Um, this works with other, like, uh, you can do the same, uh, same thing with uh, deadlifts. You can make your conventional deadlift stronger by doing sumo deadlifts. So you're going to take something you're weaker in that's related to the movement and work that in order to increase the primary movement. If that makes any sense at all, again, <clears throat> it's kind of complicated, um, but I hope this sums it up for you. And uh, if anyone has any questions, leave them in the comments and any of the videos, I'll get back to you. Or you can email me at the doc 8008 at hotmail. That's D A. DOC8008 a hotmail. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and remember to subscribe to my channel. That's Brian the Powerlifter Rogers. That's all one big word. If you type up several words, you won't get me. Brian the Powerlifter Rogers. And I'll hope this helps. Thanks for listening. Bye.